like long distance running and other uh, ventures, it's not a short term process to be successful in science. It's a career where we're in it for the long term. You know, often creativity requires some tension, forces you to think, and so some of my best ideas have been on the heels of bad news that made me reevaluate and consider how to do things differently. I had a sister who had a, a malformation of her central nervous system that contributed to my interest in trying to improve the lives of children. My lab is dedicated to studying the genetics of how the brain develops. We've made massive increases in our understanding, particularly of the molecular mechanisms and genetic mechanisms that control how, during development, regions of the brain are made, how different cell types are made. And what we've done is to really lay a foundation for the genetic pathways that are required for development of cerebral cortex and basal ganglia, two of the most important regions of the brain that we think are abnormal in psychiatric disorders. Getting this type of recognition from the Brain Behavior and Research Foundation is very flattering to me. Very, very grateful and humbled by receiving this award. I hope that this type of recognition for the type of research that we do will help others in my field feel that this is the right direction to go in order to make progress to understand childhood psychiatric disorders. There's good evidence that some of the genetic disorders that predispose to autism and other childhood psychiatric problems may be reversible. So there's excellent reason to be hopeful.